Hi, this is Mr. Campania. Today we're going to take a look at a powerful graphing tool called Desmos. Desmos will allow you to graph the speed, frequency, and amplitude data that you collected in our previous lesson. All right, so let's get started. You're going to open up your web browser to desmos.com. When you get to the website, you're going to have an option right here in the middle, this blue button that says Graphing Calculator. Click through to load up your first graph. Now you don't have to have an account with Desmos, but it is beneficial because they do save any graphs that you've created in the past. So let's start off by taking a look at the coordinate plane. Now, if you're doing this on a full-size desktop computer, you can take your mouse and left click, hold, and drag around so you can look at the field. If you're doing this on a mobile device, you can pinch to zoom. And if you have a mouse with the scroll wheel, you could zoom by just rolling that scroll wheel in and out. You also have the option of the plus and minus buttons on the sides. So now that we're uh, able to, to move around this, this view, what if you go too far off? Well, you have this home option, and that'll bring you back to your default zoom at the nexus of zero, zero. Now let's move to the upper left-hand side of the screen, and you have a few options up here. You'll notice you have some expression fields, and you also have this plus uh, sign button right here called Add Item. Now when you select that, you have a few options. You can create an expression, a note, a table, which we'll be doing later, folder, and image. Now you could start off by creating a point just by typing it in. So open, open parentheses, two comma three, close parentheses. And you'll notice immediately and instantly on your graph, a point was plotted. If you'd like, you could label that point. So the point came up as two comma three, and I'm just gonna call this example point. So that's one way to do it. If you have multiple points you'd like to plot, you could just separate those by a comma as well. You also notice that you get this little warning symbol right here. This tells you that either your syntax or, or something is wrong with how you're typing out this function. So in this case, let's do open parentheses, three comma five. So that'll be our second point. And you'll notice that it is, again, instantly dropped on there. Now, if you want to make these points disappear, you can just click on this little icon here and it removes the points from the chart. Now, the labels do stay behind unless you turn those off as well. Now, something that's not really intuitive is drawing a line. Um, so what you need to do is click and hold, and then you have a few other options. Like for example, connect those two points with a line, which come in handy if you're creating a graph, right? Now, uh, a few other things. You could change the icon that is used for your point. You could change the color of your point, line, and labels. You can even change where the labels are in relation to your points. So that's one way to do it. There's possibly a, a simpler way by using the graph function. So for me, I'm going to use uh, our speed data for the x-axis and the amplitude, let's say, for the y-axis. And again, you don't have to do it exactly this way but really just showing you an example of what it may look like. And again, this information is not correct. This is just sample data. So yours will look different. Guarantee it will look different than this. All right, now, while I was doing that, you may have noticed that the, the graph populated uh, those points automatically. It just automatically plots them. Just like before though, when we wanted to see them connected with a line, we needed to go over to the dot icon, or the point icon, and click and hold. And when you do that, then you have the option to do things like change the color, connect the points with the line. Now, you may want to change the formatting to make this a little easier to see. So on the upper right-hand side, we have graph settings. 
Now, by selecting that, uh, one of the first things I do is I click projector mode. And I like this just because it makes things a little bit more clear. It darkens up the lines and it just makes it easier to see. Now, you can position this however you want. You could zoom in, zoom out. You can manually state where you want the X and Y axis to be. So you might want the X axis to start off at zero and to end at 10, and the Y axis to start off at zero and to end at, I don't know, two. However you want, whatever illustrates the data in the best way for you. The next thing that you may want to do is label. So for our x-axis, we said hypothetically it would be speed, or I should really say wave speed. And then the y-axis, I think I said wave amplitude. And there you have it. Now you can take a screenshot just like you would normally do on, on any device, but you can also export this data. So if you go over here to this box with a little arrow coming out of it, the share graph button, you have an option to print it, export it, or embed it. Export's probably the best way to do it. And then you can modify uh, further the, the appearance of this graph. So if you want small square, and it's, you know, this is a nice for a little bite-sized piece of information. Uh, medium, thick, line thickness, so you can change the line thickness. You have to be careful because it does seem that some of the, the words overwrite and it's not exactly the most pleasing graph, but you get the idea. So I'm gonna leave it on medium square with medium line thickness. I think that looks the best. I'm gonna click download and now I have my graph exported. Then I can import that to either PowerPoint or really any report that uh, I'm doing with this. So we've just scratched the surface with Desmos. There's so much more you can do with this very powerful tool, but for right now, for this investigation, you now know how to construct a graph and make one that looks quite professional. All right, best of luck to you. I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.